Welcome to Must Appeal Maths Grade 11 Edition. Today we're going to talk about equations and inequality and I'm just going to break it down in its simplest form. So let's get on with the video. So before we start, we need to basically, I want to tell you the type of topics or questions that you can find under equations and inequality. And the first one is number systems, right? The second one is solving quadratic e quadratic equations. The third one is completing the squared. The fourth one is quadratic inequality. The fifth one is simultaneous equation. The sixth one is substitution. And the seventh one is nature of roots, right? So that's the type of questions that you can find under uh, equations and inequality. Right. So now let's break down each section on its own and see what type of questions that you need to know under that. So starting with uh, number system. So with number system is basically revision from grade 10, right? So the only thing that you need to understand from that section is basically how to basically identify when a number is rational or irrational. So this is the type of question that they can ask you. So this is an example. That's the only thing that you need to understand. Now moving to the quadratic equations. So it's a, with solving quadratic equation, the thing that you need to know is that for you to be in order to master the section, like solving quadratic equation, you need to be very good with factorizing, right? So it's so the, the factorizing that you need to know is the following. The first one is finding a common factor. The second one is a difference of two squared. The third one is factorizing a quadratic trinomial, right? Now, deadly moving to computing a squared. Computing a squared is more similar like solve for x, which is solving quadratic in equation. But here they're going to be specific and say, hey, use completing the squared. So it's very crucial for you to understand on how to basically solve for x using completing the squared. And to be honest, it's easy marks because it can go for like five marks. So just you understand the method on how to do it. That's just like some easy marks. So I would suggest the fact that you learn how to do that, right? And it's not always that they would ask you a question. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. But it's very good for you to know how to use the method if you get to a test and they become very specific and be like, solve for X using completing the squared, right? Then now we're going to move to what? We're going to move to quadratic inequality. As you can hear from the word, it says quadratic, right? So basically what you need to know, you also need to know how to factorize, right? So you knowing how to factorize is going to be easy for you to basically solve quadratic inequality. And I basically kind of created a new method on solving quadratic equality using this diagram that I'm going to put in the screen. The reason why I'm using this diagram is that I want to basically implement this diagram to teach students on how to approach it and always get the question right. So if, you, if you're if in my course and you're struggling with inequality, this is basically new and I'm probably going to announce it. And if you are struggling with inequality, you can purchase my course and this is the new method. And I promise it's, it's pretty good. The way I did it, I made it very simple. So that's quadratic inequality, right? Then now I'm moving to simultaneous equation. This is an example of a simultaneous equation. You basically need to solve for X and Y. That's the gist of it. And a tip that I can give you is that with solving simultaneous equation, the first equation that you're going to make equation one, always take the one that is a linear equation. Right? And number six is substitution. Substitution, you need to be very good with your fractions. If you understand your basic of the fraction, then applying those that knowledge of you understanding your fraction, it's going to be easy when you start now using substitution when you let K to be something, your laws or your rules of fractions needs to come together so that it can become a very easy ride and if you under my course you sort it because i do revise creating fractions so that by the time we get to questions that are related to substitution you basically well equipped right then moving to nature of roots it's understanding also what is nature of roots and its nodes um, and basically what it is in essence and what type of questions to basically expect and what certain things mean. And everything is going to be in my course in terms of you breaking down that section, like the nature of roots and all that and what what means. And when they ask you this question, what does it mean, right? So now we're going to move to using color method to basically ace this section, right? So what is color method? Color method is you doing a quiz first and after doing a quiz marking yourself, then after marking yourself, 
looking, focusing mainly on the topics that you're really bad at, then starting from the ones with low marks, then going up, then the ones that you're good at, you don't like focus on them like very intensely, but you basically fixing the ones that like you're getting low marks. So that is color method. And I have a whole video on it. So I'll put it in the eye or in the description too. So that if you want to learn more about it, you can go there, right? So we're going to use the color method. So I already have a quiz for equations and in inequality. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to do the quiz. After doing the quiz, it's going to automatically mark you. So you're going to get your mark, right? So the nice thing is that how the quiz is, is divided into sections the way this video is divided, right? So you're going to get your school and know which section that you're struggling with, right? Then after doing that, since you know which section that you're struggling with, so let's say in this case, you're struggling with number system, you're struggling with team with, uh, you're struggling with substitution, and also you're struggling with nature of roots. Maybe let's say those three are your problems. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to my course and focus on those areas. So let's say number system. So you're going to go to number system and do everything that's related to number system. And when you're done, the nice thing is that as you're doing a quiz, right? As you're doing a video lesson, there's like a quiz so you can test whether you understand what I just said in the video. Then when you're done, you're going to move to the next section, which is substitution. You're going to do all the video steps related to substitution, which starts with the fractions. Then the last question is about substitution and how to approach it. Then as you're going down, as I said, the fact that there's a video lesson, then there's a quiz. So you can test yourself as you're going down, right? Then finally, the last one is nature of roots. Same thing. There's going to be a video lesson and a quiz so that you can test yourself. Then when you're done, what you're going to do is with everything, because now you know which section that you didn't understand when you started, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the past paper, then you're going to do a quiz just to test whether did the lesson really help, right? So you're going to do that, do a quiz, then it's going to mark you, right? And that's how you will see the fact that are you improving which section do you need to want to go back to, right? But let's say during the, 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 the process you did everything including because while watching a video lesson and also doing the quiz, you can ask me questions as you move along. Let's say you've also asked me questions while moving along, right? And now you still feel like you just need assistance. Maybe you're doing something wrong and you don't know what it is. You can actually book a 30 minutes consultation with me if you are part of the course and you paid for that course, right? So you can book a 30 minute consultation with me. Then we can discuss and maybe I can give you tips or a way forward so that you can improve prove your mark right so that is that so now let's discuss how much is the course right also where you can find it and also if before you want to purchase the course maybe you want to have a 30 minutes uh, consultation so we can stretch your dice on maybe which programs or which course like which topics to purchase first that and also lastly um the links of this week's quiz and next week right so the course is equations and inequality right which this equations and inequality is this course it's a combination of this week's course and also next week so it's gonna also contain certain uh, exponents right so they're gonna be be in one thing so it's 150 and the link to purchase the course is going to be down in the description so it's going to send you straight to the website then you can purchase it there right so that's the first thing secondly is um if before you purchase the course you want to talk to me maybe you want to figure out a strategy on what to do which course to purchase first or which topic you want to purchase first you can book a 30 minutes free consultation right down here and i'll just put the rules on the consultation so they are the rules what this consultation is not for then the quiz for this week which is um exponents and certs right so it's going to be down in the description and also the quiz for this video is going to be down in the description is called equations and inequality so now with that said i hope this video was helpful on breaking down how um, equations and inequality and what type of questions you can expect and i hope to see you guys next week for exponents and certs so bye